In this video, we're going to go over the features of WA23 Luna. On the front of the amplifier, there is a 4-pin XLR output. This is for use with headphones. Next to it is the function switch. You can go from pre-amplifier mode or headphone mode. Next to that is the impedance setting. This is for matching the impedance of your headphones. There is a high impedance mode and a low impedance mode. Now this is not set in stone, meaning that even though if your headphones are high impedance or low impedance, you can use whichever output setting you like. Some headphones are not sensitive to impedance matching. We recommend to use the setting that sounds best to you. In the center is the volume knob. This is to control the listening level of the headphone amplifier or the pre-amplifier mode. Just below it is a power on-off button. You press this to power cycle the amplifier. It is important to note that when you press the power button to power on the amplifier, allow the tubes to warm up before switching off again. So don't rapidly press this button because rapid power on off can shorten or even short out the tubes. The blinking LED will stop blinking when the amplifier is ready for use. We do recommend to allow the amplifier to warm up for 5 to 10 minutes before it will sound its best. To the right is the level controller. You have high level and low level setting. We recommend to use the low level as much as possible because you don't want to unnecessarily increase the level of the amplifier uh, if you don't actually need it because it would actually increase the noise level uh, for your headphones. So if, for example, you put the volume knob position to one o'clock position and this is your uh, average listening level you still have quite a bit of volume to go before you reach its maximum output in the low position but for example if you're listening to your music at three o'clock position and it is at the low setting and you still desire more listening level a higher output then you want to turn it down and then switch it to the high position that way you have a bit more headroom for your music just next to the level setting is the input setting you have input one input two and input three select the input that you're using for the amplifier or the preamplifier. And uh, all the way to the right side is the 6.3 millimeter or quarter inch output for headphones. On the back of WA23 Luna, on the left side is channel 1 input RC jacks, stereo left and right, channel 2 input. There are supplied RC grounding caps for this channel. But it can be moved to channel 1 as well when you're not using uh, channel 1 and you're using channel 2. If you're not using either of the RC inputs, these grounding caps must be installed. Let me show you what these look like. Channel 3 is 3-pin three XLR input. In the center is the AC inlet for the power supply and the custom umbilical cord. We'll take a look at how that works. Next to it is the voltage selection. This is preset at the factory for your country, but you can change it if necessary. On the right side is the pre-out for preamp function. This is a stereo pair 3-pin XLR. 
you can use this pre-out to a pair of power speakers or a power amplifier to drive speakers. This pre-out should not be used in conjunction with another headphone amplifier or an integrated amplifier because you don't want two layers of pre-amplification in the signal. This should be used with powered speakers or power amplifier. On the back of the power supply, there is an AC inlet socket. This is a industry standard IEC type connector. This is similar to the computer monitors or PC towers. Uh, same connector, so you can use any industry standard cable. Just below that is a fuse compartment. Now, you should not remove this fuse unless it is necessary. If for some reason the amplifier does not power on and everything else looks to be okay, like the tubes or the cables, then you want to check the fuse to see if the fuse has blown. If the fuse needs to be replaced, it must be replaced with the same size and also slow blow fuse. Next to it is the AC outlet for the umbilical cord. This is a custom connector and we'll show you how to release the umbilical cord. On the front of the power supply unit, there is our logo and an LED indicator light. When this is lit amber, that means the system is powered on and there is power going into the power supply.